Hi guys, this is Selena. I hope you're well. Welcome back to one of my videos. So today I wanted to show you how to crochet this very easy headband. So it's really easy. It's gonna require um, very beginner friendly skills. You will be using um, a bit of a skein of this yarn, that's the one I used, it's called Feels Like Butter by Lion Brand Yarns and it's a delight to crochet and I used a 5mm um, crochet hook, a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. As always everything will be linked in the description box and in my blog, on my blog selinaveronique.com, you will also be able to download the free PDF of my blog. Um, I will be linking all of this in the description box. The pictures and the exact dimensions will be also on my blog in the description box. I will be using US terms. So to begin, make a slip knot. So just go ahead um, and make your slip knot. Once you've made your slip knot, pop your hook through and tighten. So you will be um, chaining 74 and I will be chaining a smaller sample. So one, two, three. So here we are, you should have chained 74. I've chained a smaller number but the principle is the same. So once you've um, chained all your 74 chains, you will be placing a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So this is the first chain from the hook and the second chain is this one right here. So you are going to be going directly into that and placing a single crochet into it. So to single crochet, just pop your hook through, take your yarn, you've got two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops and this will count as your first single crochet. So what you are going to do next is go into the second chain and place another single crochet and then you're just going to go into the next chain and place another single crochet into that and into the next chain and place a single crochet into that and so on until the end of this row so I'll just let you single crochet until the end of this row and then I will meet you back again and just for information the first chain that we had on this row does not count as a single crochet so yeah I'll meet you back at the end of this row so here we go, I finished the first row and yours should be longer. Basically for the second row, what you are going to be doing is chain one, turn your work, and this chain one will count as a stitch from now on. So this counts as a single crochet and goes with um, this stitch right here, the first stitch. And what we're going to do is place a single crochet into the second stitch. So just go ahead and go through both um, those strands right here and pull your yarn through and pull your yarn through two loops. And again, this is our single crochet and go directly into the next stitch and place a single crochet, go directly into the next stitch and place another single crochet and so on and so forth until the end of this row and then I'll show you what to do at the end of this row. So so here we go, we've almost reached the end of this row and I've still got one stitch left to place so I'm just going to go ahead and place my last single crochet into that stitch like so 
and this is what row two looks like. So for row three, basically row three and row four will simply be repeats of row two. So basically um, you are just going to chain one, turn your work, and you are simply going to be placing a single crochet into each and every stitch across. So this counts as our first um, single crochet. So just go directly into the second stitch and place a single crochet into that and the next stitch and so on and so forth until the end of the row. And don't forget this last chain one at the very end of this row right here, because this counts as a single crochet also. So you will need to be placing a um, single crochet into this. So basically I'll just let you carry on row three and row four, and I'll meet you back again just to show you how to finish off your headband. So here we go, I finished my um, four rows and it looks amazing. So basically this is what it's going to look like. I've left, um, so you should fasten off now, so I'll just let you fasten off. And then once you've fastened off, leave a long tail for sewing. And what we are going to be doing is simply joining both these sides together. So that's why it's the simplest pattern. So um, I'm just gonna pop my um, yarn through my tapestry needle and I'm simply gonna stitch these two sides together. Um, obviously make sure you've not twisted your headband. And I'm simply just going to go into this corner here and start sewing. So here we go, you can see both um, sides and I'm just going to go in one side like so and then just go directly into the other side. And this is the mattress stitch and it kind of leaves less of a seam mark if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna um, do this, go back and forth. So I've reached um, the top of my headband and I've um, sewed it in and gently what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to tie a knot with these um, loose ends that I have very gently, very, very gently. So just pull on that. And now all I've got left to do is, so this is what the seam looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. The headband is so beautiful. And the only thing we have left to do is to sew in our loose ends. And the way I sew in my loose ends is just go back and forth very gently into your project so that you seamlessly just, um, so in your loose end. So I'm just gonna let you carry that on. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want um, a crochet video out every week. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.